Hi there Transit Connect owners. Today in our 2019 Ford Transit Connect, we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options. Here we have our two best options for your Transit Connect. They're both going to be class 3, 2 inch by 2 inch receivers. On top we have our model from Kurt, and down below we have our model from DrawType. Now there are a lot of similarities between these two, but we're going to cover the differences first. One of the biggest and most important differences between these two hitches is the tongue weight. Our Kurt is going to have a 525 pound tongue weight, while our draw tight is only going to be 400 pounds. Your tongue weight is the force going down on top of the receiver. And this is important for many of your accessories such as cargo carriers and bike racks, because it determines how much you can load those up. Now with 400 pounds and 525 pounds, they're both going to be formidable hitches, but a lot of your cargo carriers have a max carrying weight between 500 and 550 pounds which means our draw tight, you're not gonna be able to load it up all the way, while our Kurt, you're gonna be able to either load it up all the way or very close to all the way before you exceed its capacities. Now, both of these hitches offer the same gross towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. Your gross towing capacity is how much they can pull behind it, and 3,500 pounds is gonna be more than enough for your medium-sized work trailers. It's really gonna be plenty for you to do everything you wanna do with your Connect. They are both rated to be used with a weight distribution system. A weight distribution system works with your hitch to help take the weight that's sagging down the back of your vehicle and transition that onto the front axle to level your vehicle back out. It's great that both of these have that option because if you're towing anything that's going to be on the upper end of these hitch weight ratings, it's really going to help your transit feel better when driving down the road. Being level is going to restore that lost handling performance you had because as the vehicle tips up, the geometry of your tires is going to change and you're going to lose some of the surface contact your tires had against the road. It's also going to affect your braking performance because with it being tilted back, your weight's not going to distribute properly onto the front like it did before. And since the front brakes do most of your braking, it's not going to be working with that as best as it could. So you're not only going to make your vehicle drive better and restore those lost braking and handling performances, but it's also going to increase the gross towing capacity of both these hitches to 4,000 pounds, making them even more formidable for the task at hand. Both of our hitches are going to have plate style safety chain loops, and they both have pretty large openings that's going to accommodate just about every shape, size, and style of safety chain. But our Kurt is going to be a little bit smaller than our draw type. I do find, however, that our Kurt is plenty big, so it's not a huge deal that this is going to offer you a little bit larger area. Some of the things you're going to notice right away, though, is that our draw tight has an additional hole towards the edge of the receiver that our Kurt doesn't have. This allows our draw tight to use a J-pin. The J-pin is similar to a hitch pin, but it hooks around on one side, and that hook will go into this smaller hole, pressing against whatever you have in your receiver, keeping it nice and tight, acting as an anti-rattle device. It's great that our draw tight has this option, but there are plenty of anti-rattle devices out there that we have here at eTrailer.com that'll work with our Kurt instead of a J-pin. But one of the things I don't really like with the draw tight having that J-pin is it makes our receiver tube longer. Our Kurt here is quite a bit shorter and having installed both of these hitches, the Kurt will end up flush with the back of your bumper and it just looks really nice. While our draw tight's gonna stick out a little bit about the width of the collar here. And I don't like the way it looks and then it also gives you the possibility of when you're walking by it, something getting caught on it or hitting on it. But one thing the draw tight does have over the Kurt that I really like is the pre-welded mounting bracket for your wiring. Because let's face it, you're probably going to be using your transit to haul something, and you might need some lights on it. So when you go to install your wiring, you've got a nice convenient location to get that wiring mounted up so you can easily access it every time you hook up. With our Kurt, you're going to have to either drill into the body of the vehicle to get some kind of wiring mounted up, or you're going to have to purchase additional no-drill brackets that you can attach to your hitch. Now when it comes to similarities, they're both going to install exactly the same. They've got the same mounting locations. The hardware is slightly different, but it goes up the same way. Since they both install the same way, they're both going to sit at about the same position, so both are going to have visible cross tubes underneath. However, I found that the cross tube is tucked up pretty nicely underneath, so unless you're standing at the back and looking kind of low, you're not really going to notice it that much. And both of them are going to have a gloss black powder coat finish to help them resist against rust and corrosion. All in all, my choice is the best hitch is going to be our Kurt. I like that the receiver tube is flush with the bumper. To me, it looks nicer. And again, I, I hate when you're walking by something and your leg hits it or something gets caught and you got to stop and turn around. And I also like that it has a higher tongue weight. With being 525 pounds, if you're using those cargo carriers, again, you can load them up all the way. You're going to be able to get 
more bikes on your bike rack. It could, especially if you're going to be using a bike rack for e-bikes, this one's going to be a little bit more formidable for that job. But that being said, our draw tight is still a great option, and if the cleanliness of your wiring is important to you, then you might want to go with the draw tight. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for your Ford Transit Connect.